I was asked my thoughts on if flipping is a really good idea in 2022. And I'll tell you this, I've said it before, the best time to invest in real estate was 10 years ago. The next best time is now, because now will be 10 years ago, 10 years from now. Did you follow that logic? So it's always a good time to invest in real estate. Historically, it's always been a great time. Is 2022 a great time? Absolutely. Are you going to buy at the lowest part of the market? No. Are you buying at the highest part? Probably not. So there are some pros and some cons. It's harder to find a deal in 2022. No question about it. When we first got started, we were able to find deals on a pretty regular basis. I never had a problem finding a deal, an off-market deal, even an on-market deal like on the MLS or bank-owned. Now, when you go to find a deal on the public market, there's a bazillion other investors out there that are jumping all over it. Many are inexperienced and are overpaying for those properties. Plus, we're now competing with institutional buyers, large corporate you know, hedge funds and people that are buying houses, sometimes by the hundreds. So we're competing with those people as well in the market space. What does that mean for us? It means that when we do find a deal, an off-market deal, which they are out there, you just have to dig a little harder, right? When the gold is worth more, when the diamonds are worth more, you have to dig harder and dig deeper. That's all that it really boils down to. And why are they worth more? They're worth more because when you do find a deal, you could sell that thing. The crazy part is now you could sell the house many times if you find an off-market deal, you could sell that house in a wholesale fashion to another investor, make 15, 20, 30, $40,000. I have friends in big parts of the country like Las Vegas and some in California, um, other really hot markets on Atlanta. They're making sometimes $100,000 plus on a wholesale deal. That's where you just sell the paper and that's crazy. That's because they found an off-market deal before anybody else found it. That's where the real gold is. So you have to dig deeper to get that gold, right? That's what you have to do. So when you find one, that's good. If you want to renovate that house, same thing. When you go to renovate that house in 2022, you're going to find that you have a plethora, I love using that word, plethora of buyers that are willing to pay your price and then some. We just had a house in upstate New York that we put in the market for, I think it was like $279, and it sold for like $305. It went for $35,000 over asking price, and we were already pretty high when we started. In 2022, the secret to be successful in this market is to find off-market properties, right? I'll put a little plug in and say, come to our home flipping workshop, and we teach you how to do that. But you got to find the off-market deal. Now, what could be the downside? Well, the market could make a shift. At some point, historically speaking, the market is going to adjust itself at some point. Honestly, I thought it would happen long before now, and all the experts thought that too. None of us have a crystal ball. None of us know what's going to happen. I can tell you this. I don't think the crash that will happen or the adjustment that happens in the near future, I do not think it will be nearly as bad as it was in 2008, because this is not a real estate induced crisis this is more of an inflation induced and a supply and demand It's actual real economics the supply and demand right now that's what's causing the rise in housing prices so i don't think now i don't have a crystal ball but i don't think we're going to have the massive crash but that's where you could get caught right they say if you're out in the tide and your shorts are off and the tide goes out the water goes down and there you are without your shorts on that's what can happen. That's what happened to a lot of people back in 2008 when they had properties in these areas like Southern Florida, where I live now, or in Las Vegas or in California. In these markets, that had really crazy appreciation happening. This is back in 2008. Now, remember, that was all, a lot of that was induced from fraudulent lending. So it was a real estate induced housing crisis or economic crisis. So this one is not that way. So I don't think we're going to have that major dip. But you could be caught where you buy a house expecting to sell it for a big profit and then the market changes and you don't sell it for nearly what you thought. So how do you protect yourself from that? Don't buy expecting appreciation. Buy for what the market tells you right now. Like look at the market and say, if my house is gonna sell for you know, 300,000, 500,000, if that's what the comps say right now, don't lie to yourself and say, listen, but in six months, it'll be worth 550. In six months, it'll be worth 375 when you, you thought 325. Don't add numbers on assuming you're going to take advantage of appreciation. I know of people that were buying lots back in the day, back in 2007, 2008, and they were, all they were doing was buying a lot and they would sell that lot four or five months later to take advantage of appreciation. I would say don't do that. That's speculative investing and it can be very, very risky. And that's how you can get caught without your shorts on when the tide goes out.
What a pretty image. Well, not for most of us, okay? So I would just make sure that you just remember, just be aware of that, use real numbers, use today's math, and get in and out of that thing as fast as you humanly possibly can. And if you do it right and find off-market deals, you're gonna find a ton of success in 2022. You just gotta go out there and catch the momentum that's happening. And let's ride that thing for as long as we can ride it. Someday the market will turn and there'll be more people selling houses that are all, you know, when, when the market does turn, there'll be more inventory, but it won't sell for as much. But either way, if you stick around us and learn from us, we've been through all different types of markets. So if you come to our home filming workshop, little plug there, um, I would love to show you how we've been through the bad markets and the good markets. We can help you steer and navigate those choppy waters. Hope that helps.